In electrostatics, you might need to integrate over distributed charge, like a line of charge or a surface of charge. If you had a stick uniformly charged, charge big Q length L, Q over L is what we call lambda, the coulombs per meter. That would also be little q over delta x, so the amount of charge on a little piece would be proportional to the size of the piece, and infinitesimally, dq would be lambda dx. If we go to two dimensions, we're talking about q over area being sigma, coulombs per square meter. So q would be sigma delta x delta y for a little piece, and dq would be sigma dx dy. You'd have to do a double integral. Or you could take the sheet and instead of cutting it into tiny squares, you could cut it into thin strips. So the area would be W delta X, Q would be sigma W delta X, DQ would be sigma W DX, and you'd only have to integrate once, integrate X from zero to L. For a ring of charge, you can view it two ways. You can think of it as one dimensional and have lambda be total charge over two pi R, or you could view it as charge per area, Q divided by two pi R delta R, which would be approximately the area of that ring. So Q would be sigma delta X delta R, or it would be a double integral. Finally, a disc, you can imagine integrating over the solid disc by taking it one ring at a time. Then each little ring has a circumference of two pi little r, and a thickness of dr, so dq would be sigma 2 pi r dr, and you just have to integrate dr from 0 to big R. That's how you set up a differential to integrate in electrostatics.